comfortably, however that looks like for you. And just go ahead and relax your shoulders down your back. With the crown of the head lifting towards the ceiling. And your tailbone drawing downward slightly. And relax your forehead. Relax your eyebrows. Unclench your eyelids. Soften the space behind your eyes. Relax any constriction in the nostrils. Unpurse your lips. Relax your jaw. Soften any constriction in your throat. Relax the shoulders. Feel your arms heavy, your hands relaxed. Feel your front abdomen soft. Relax any clenching or gripping in the muscles of your pelvis, soft pelvis. Feel the legs soft and the feet ungrip. Just relaxing tension in the body wherever you find it. The points I mentioned are ways that we often unconsciously hold tension. Just feel yourself soft for a little bit longer. Even the breath is quite light at this point. The awareness of your body, the awareness of your breath, helping to bring you to this moment. Okay. So go ahead and take a deeper, fuller breath, please. Bring your palms to your heart and honor yourself as you are in this moment, this body, this breath, this energetic state, this state of mind. And it's from this place within you that we'll practice the sleeping. So go ahead and rub the palms together, creating heat. Take the heated palms over your eyes, brushing back over the top of your head, down your neck, bringing yourself back to the room your room, <laughs> wherever you're at. And let's come on to our backs to start, all right? Moving your props off to the side if you're using them, and we'll come to lay down. Good, so once you get there, hug your knees into your chest, but take your time if you're still on your way. And you might find that when you get onto the floor and you hug your knees into your chest, that you naturally start rocking from side to side on the spine. Maybe there's some tension in your lower back, maybe in the mid back or shoulders. Just spend another few breaths, just tending to whatever that might be. Good. And then go ahead and bring the hip point of stillness and bring your feet flat to the floor Heels underneath your knees, about hip width apart, hip distance apart. Have your arms down by your side to start. And with your next inhale, lift your arms all the way overhead, knuckles touching the floor above you. And then exhale, release your arms back down to your side. Again, inhale, lifting the arms all the way overhead, reaching through the fingertips. 
and exhale, hands, arms coming back down. Let's do that a few more times, adjust the arms. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, lowering. Beginning to warm up the shoulders here, beginning to link your breath and movement. And then we'll add on to this movement. So take your time getting there. But the next time you lift your arms, also pick up your hips. Reach your pelvis toward the ceiling. As you exhale, release the hips and arms down at the same time. Inhale, arms and hips lift. Exhale, arms and hips lower. We'll continue this for a few more rounds. Warming up the spine, starting to bring length to the front of your body quads, the tops of the thighs, the front abdomen, hip flexors. And as you lift and lower, do your best to keep the feet flat on the floor the whole time. Inhale, lifting up. And exhale, lowering down. Let's do two more. Good. As you come into the pose, stay, arms overhead, hips lifting toward the ceiling. And see if you can sense some curvature to your upper spine. So another way to think about it is that the heart is reaching toward your chin, deepening the back bend in your upper back. Feet are still flat on the floor. Still breathing, hopefully. Good. Take a deep breath in, please. And exhale, release the arms and hips down. Good. And then take your feet as wide apart as your yoga mat. And then walk your feet away from your body, away from the hips, about six inches. Your arms can rest out to the side. With your inhale, allow your knees to fall to the left, rocking up onto the hips. With your exhale, ground your lower back to the floor, bending back to center. And then inhale, take the knees to the right. And then exhale, ground the lower back, knees coming back to center. And we'll continue. Inhale to a side. Exhale, ground the lower back, coming back to your center. And then inhale to the other side. Exhale to center. Inhaling to a side, exhaling to center, moving on your own. Now, if you'd like to get the neck involved, you can turn the chin away from the knee. If the knees fall to the right, the chin can go to the left, and so on. Just unwinding tension in the hips. Also, a little bit on the sides of the body, the psoas muscle that wraps around from the lower back down to the groin. Inhaling to a side, exhaling to center, inhaling to the other side. Exhaling to center a few more times. Really helping to warm up the hips here. Okay. Take your time getting there. The next time your knees come back to center, go ahead and hug them in. Take a deep breath in. Once you have the knees into your chest, take a deep breath in. With your exhale, curl the chin in toward the throat. Bring your forehead up toward the knees. Shoulders lift. Now stay up for the inhale. And then exhale, release the head and shoulders back down. Keep a hold on the knees. Stay down for the inhale. Exhale, chin to throat. Forehead lifts up. Core is engaged. Stay up for your inhale. And exhale, release back down. Let's do a few more of these, warming up the core. Exhale, chin to throat, forehead up. Staying up for the inhale. And exhale, releasing down. Staying down for the inhale. Exhale, curl up. And exhale, curl down. 
Good, let's do one more for now. Exhale, chin to throat, forehead lifts. Stay up this time a little bit longer and relax the grip on your shins or knees. You can still hold on to them, but really recruit the core, feeling able to pull back toward the spine to stay lifted. And breathe. Three, two, and one. Relax the head and shoulders down and then bring the feet flat to the floor. Good job. Taking an adjusting breath. And then go ahead and lift your right arm overhead and then roll to your right side. And let's come on up to hands and knees. Table pose. Good. Bringing your hands underneath your shoulders, knees beneath your hips just slightly further back. Inhale, look forward with your heart. Feel the tailbone lift behind you. Exhale, child's pose. Seat to the heels, forehead to the floor. Inhale, float back up to hands and knees. Curl the toes under. This time, lift the hips into the air, downward facing dog. Now, as our first down dog of the class, so go ahead and walk it out a bit, pressing a heel to the floor, bending the opposite knee. And breathe, feeling a length in the leg and the length in your spine. Now, as you're walking the dog out here, I'd like you to stop on one side, extend one heel to the, toward the floor as you bend the opposite knee. Let's just breathe length into this one leg for about two to three reps. Good, and then switch sides. And we'll spend a few breaths on this side as well. Really sink that heel as best you can. Good. And then straighten both legs. Inhale into plank pose or knees down, either one. And then exhale, bring your heart to the floor, coming down onto your belly. Good. Have your hands underneath your shoulders, elbows bent. Roll the shoulders back. Lift the heart and head look forward, cobra pose. Elbows stay bent here. Exhale, release down. Let's do that again. Roll the shoulders down the back. Heart looks forward. And exhale, release down. We'll do a few more. Cobra pose. Inhale, lifting the heart, lifting the head. Exhale, release. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Coming on up. Let's stay this time. Shoulders down the back. The heart is looking forward. And you're hopefully breathing. <laughs> Bring it back in if you notice the breath stopping at all. Lift up a little bit higher, inhale, and exhale, carefully release down. Take an adjusting breath here. Good. And then curl the toes under, push up to hands and knees, and back to downward facing dog. Take an adjusting breath. All right. All right. Inhale, float down onto hands and knee. And go ahead and step your right foot between your hands. Right foot steps between the hands. Keep the back toes curled under because we're going to pick up the back knee. Your hands can be on the floor here still. If you have blocks at home, your hands can be on blocks as well. And just try to pull the heart away from the thigh as much as you can, even if it's just an intention. Good. Try to keep that back leg as straight as possible. We're just getting warmed up, so it's okay if it's not as straight as it could be. <laughs> Good, take a deep breath in. And exhale, release the back knee. And then sweep the right leg back. We'll come into downward facing dog. Good, let's do the other side. Floating down onto hands and knees. Step the left foot between your hands. Curl the back toes under. 
lift the back knee and get light on the front fingertips as if you're pulling the heart away from the thigh. Breathe. Keeping the back leg as straight as you can. Deep breath in. And then exhale, release the back knee. Take the left leg back, downward facing dog. Inhale, float into plank pose or knees down. Exhale, bring yourself all the way down to the floor. Hands underneath your shoulders, release the feet. Roll the shoulders back, lift the heart, head cobra pose. Exhale, release down. Curl the toes under. Push up to hands and knee, and back to downward facing dog. All right. Now I'm going to give you an option. You can do what we just did um, with, with the lunge, where you drop down onto hands and knees, and then step a foot forward. That's an option. Some of you I know can lift the leg into the air and swing step a foot forward. Whichever variation you'd like to do, do that variation, bringing your right foot between the hands. Either swing it forward from down dog, or come down onto hands and knees and step it forward. Let's lift the back leg again, get light on the fingertips. Heart is lifting away from the thigh, maybe even looking forward. We'll stay for one more breath. And then release the back knee, and either step back to hands and knees to down dog, or just swing all the way back to down dog. Good. This time we'll step the left foot forward. So either coming down onto hands and knees to bring it forward, or swing it forward from downward facing dog. Pick your practice. Back, back knee is lifting. Get light on the fingertips. Sinking into the hips. Heart is looking forward. One more breath. Good. And raise the knee. Sweep the left leg back. We're going to do one more time on each side for our warm up. So go ahead and bring the right foot between the hands. Again, either swinging it forward or dropping down to help it forward. Back knee is lifting. Get light on the front fingertips. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Good, release the back knee, sweep the right leg back, downward facing dog. And we'll do that left side now. Stepping the left foot between the hands. Either swing it forward or step it forward. Back knee is lifting again. <laughs> Get light on the fingertips. And breathe. Good. So this time, release the back knee and then step the back foot forward, coming into the standing forward fold. Right. Now, Relax the neck and shoulders, chin dropping in towards your throat. You can grab opposite elbows if you'd like, waterfall pose. And make sure your knees are slightly bent, just a little bit. You don't want them locked. And then lastly, notice where you're resting the weight of your body in your feet. If it's more toward the heels, then lean forward just slightly into the balls of the feet. and You'll feel more of a stretch in the back of the leg. And then your lower back. A couple more breaths here. All right. Release the hands down. Inhale, press palms to shin, straighten the arms, bring the heart parallel to the floor, and then exhale, fold down. Then inhale, sweep the arms out to the side with a flat back. Come all the way up to standing, reaching the arms overhead. And then exhale, bring the palms to the front. Mm. Good morning. <laughs> all right. So we're going to play around with the chair pose a little bit here. So go ahead and stack your feet directly underneath your hips. All right. Bring your palms to your heart. Actually, bring your hands onto your hips. We'll bring the palms to the heart in a little bit here. But what I want you to do is to, with your elbows bent, take the elbows back behind you like you're trying to touch them behind your back. You won't be able to, but what you're doing is you're engaging the front of the body to be able to keep the spine tall when you actually come into chair. 
So keep the elbows working toward, toward one another. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, bend both knees, sink down into chair pose. Inhale, straighten the leg. And exhale, sink on in. Keeping the elbows guiding toward one another behind you. Inhale, lift. Exhale, sink. So I'll turn profile so you can see what I'm doing here. Inhale, straighten the leg. And exhale, sinking in. Exhale. And inhale. Good. Go ahead and sink on in. And you can keep your hands on your hips, elbows working toward one another. You could also bring palms to heart to lift the sternum a little bit more. And some of you may even want to bring your arms up by your ears. Again, pick your practice. So one of those choose your own adventure books. <laughs> Stay and breathe. Good. Inhale, straighten the legs, reaching up and palms to the heart. Good. So we're going to do just a little bit more work here with chair pose. So this time I'm gonna ask you to keep your feet just a little bit wider than we had them before. So maybe about shoulder width apart, not hip width. And I'll just demonstrate so you can see it in my body first before you do it. So in a moment, I'm gonna have you stand down into chair just like before. And you're gonna bring a hand to the floor in front of you. If the floor is far away, you can bring a block there or maybe a stack of books or I could even use my water bottle here. So anything could work really. So either hand or fingertips on the floor or you can use a prop. Good. My left hand is on my left hip. I'm gonna inhale, straighten the right arm, and then exhale, roll the left shoulder back. So essentially we're coming in to a twisted chair, okay? So now let's do it together. Sitting up, <laughs> standing up tall, feet about um, shoulder width apart. Exhale, bend the knees, sink down. Good, you're gonna bring your right hand down between the legs first, a little bit in front of the feet. Now again, the floor is far away, you can bring something there to brace yourself. Inhale, lengthen the spine, straighten the front arm. Exhale, roll the left shoulder back to come into a twist. Good. Going as far as you can, which might not look like me, and that's fine. And as you hold the pose, I want you to bring your awareness to your hip. It's likely your right hip is guiding forward, the right knee coming, toward, uh, coming forward. Think about guiding that hip back right hip guiding back as you roll the left shoulder back. It's almost like you're twisting the spine from both ends. Keep the knees bending. Good. And then inhale, unwind the forward fold, both hands toward the floor, and straighten the legs. Feel sensation for a moment. Good. and then come back up to standing. Mm. Take a moment. And then we'll twist in the opposite direction, okay? So tall spine, inhale. Exhale, bend both knees. And then bring your left hand down to the floor. Again, either hand or fingertips on the ground, or you can use a prop to support you here. Right hand is on your right hip. Inhale, lengthen the spine, straighten the left arm. Exhale, roll the right shoulder back. Twist. Good. Breathing here. Now, once again, as you hold the pose, you might notice your left knee falling forward or guiding forward. Pull it back. Pull the left hip back slightly as you roll the right shoulder back. Again, twisting from both ends of your spine. And I didn't mention it on the first side, but you know, ideally we'd be looking at the ceiling, but if that's not comfortable on your neck, you can look forward or even down. No need to strain your neck here, all right? One more breath. Good. And then inhale, unwind to the forward fold. Straighten the legs. Again, knees are not locked here. There's a little give to them.
Okay. Inhale, sweep the arms out to the side of the flat back, coming all the way up to standing. And palms to the heart. Good. So we're going to do just a couple more exercises before we go into a sun salutation. I'm going to take a drink of water to hydrate. You can do the same if you want to. All right. So stacking your feet underneath your hips once again. Step back a little bit so you can see what I'm doing here. Lift the arms overhead, interlace the fingers, and press the palms toward the ceiling as you straighten the arms. The palms are pressing straight toward the ceiling. Reaching up through the wrists, length the whole body. Mm. Now feel your left foot ground against the floor. Keep it grounding there as you lift through the right wrist, or sorry, left wrist, and arc to the right. Good. Keep reaching through the wrist as you come up. Do your right heel ground down. Keep it grounding as you reach to the right wrist, arcing to the left. Good. Inhale, come back up and release the hands down. You're going to interlace your fingers behind your back. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Lift the arms off the back as much as you can. Now soften the knees here. Bend them slightly. And hinge at the hips, taking the arms overhead as far as you can. Again, knees stay bending. Body stays breathing. Two more breaths here. Good. Then release the hands to the lower back. Scoop the heart forward and bring yourself all the way up to standing and down. Mm. And release. All right, we're going to move through a sun salutation next. So when you're ready, please step to the top of your mat. Have your feet about hip distance apart again. Bring your palms to your heart. And before we start moving, find your breath. Really tune in to the inhale. Tune into the exhale. Maybe tuning back into that calm, steady center if you've moved from it. And then we'll begin. With your next inhale, please sweep your arms down, back, and up. With your exhale, bend both knees. Sweep the arms behind you, chair prep. Keep the knees bent as you lift the arms forward and up into chair pose. Stay for your exhale. Inhale, lift up, straighten the leg. Then exhale, swan dive, fold forward and down. Palms to shins, lift halfway up, heart parallel to the floor. Then exhale, release down, and step your left foot way back. Keep the back knee lifting, please. Fingertips on the floor, heart looking forward slightly, allowing that to be your intention. Good. So this next move is going to be a little bit different, okay? So take the back foot flat to the floor. Do a quarter turn to the left so you come into a wide leg forward fold. Now turn the toes out about 45 degrees. Bring the palms to the heart. Bend the knees as you come up into a wide leg squat. Are you breathing? Aware of the inhale, aware of the exhale. And with your inhale, straighten the legs, reach the arms up. Turn the feet parallel, so toward, forward. <laughs> I don't know which way you're facing. 
Then exhale, hinge up the hips, swan dive, fold forward and down. Inhale, halfway up. Turn your right toes toward the front of your mat and then step back to downward facing dog. That'll become more seamless as we continue our breath. Inhale into plank pose, your knees down. And exhale, bring yourself down to the earth. Hands under your shoulders. Lift the head and chest, cobra pose. Exhale, release. Curl the toes under, push up the hands and knees, and back to downward facing dog. Take an adjusting breath. Good, so next we're gonna step the left foot forward. You can do that from hands and knees or from downward facing dog, pick your practice. Back knee stays lifting, get light on the fingertips for one or two breaths. All right, and now again, a little different transition. We're gonna do a quarter turn to the right as we bring the back foot flat to the floor, falling forward or wide leg. Good, lifting yourself up halfway. Turn the toes out about 45 degrees, bend the knees and bring the palms to the heart as you lift the chest coming into a wide leg squat. And we're breathing. Good, one more breath here. And inhale, straighten the legs, reach the arms up, turn the feet parallel, exhale, hinge at the hips, swan dive, fold forward and down. Inhale, lift up halfway, turn your left toes toward the front of your mat and step the back foot forward, coming into the forward fold. Palms to shins come halfway up here, extend the spine, inhale. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, scoop the arms out to the side of the flat back, come all the way up to standing. And exhale, bring the palms to the heart. Good, let's do that again, all right? With your inhales, scoop the arms down and up. Exhale, bend the knees, scoop the arms behind you, chair prep. Inhale into chair pose. Staying for the exhale. Inhale, straighten the legs. And exhale, swan dive, hinge up the hips, fold forward and down. Palms to shins, halfway up. Exhale, release, step the right foot back this time. Back knee stays lifting, get light on the fingertips. Staying for a breath or two. Depends on how fast you breathe. <laughs> and then take the back foot flat to the floor, do a quarter turn to the right, coming into the wide leg forward fold. Bring yourself up halfway. Turn the feet out about 45 degrees, toes pointing away from you. Bend the knees deeply and bring the palms to the heart as you lift up into the wide leg squat. And breathe. Simple enough. Good. Inhale, straighten the legs, reach the arms up. Turn the feet parallel. So it's pointing forward. Exhale, fold down. Lift up halfway. Turn the left toes this time toward the front of your mat. Step back to downward facing dog. Good, inhale into plank pose, our knees down. Exhale, come down to the earth. Hands under your shoulders, lift the head and chest, cobra pose. Exhale, release. Curl the toes under, push up and back to downward facing dog. All right, so the right foot steps forward this time, either from down dog or from hands and knees. Pick your practice. Back knee stays lifting. Get light on the fingertips, heart looking forward. Breathe. Good, then transitioning toward our squat. So take the back foot flat to the floor, do a quarter turn to the left. Lifting yourself up halfway, turn the toes away from you about 45 degrees. Bend the knees deeply, bring the palms to the heart. Find your breath as you hold the posture. Good, inhale, straighten the legs, reach the arms up. Again, turn the feet parallel, toes pointing forward. Exhale, hinge at the hips, fold forward and down. Lift up halfway. Turn your right toes toward the front of your mat, bring your hands to either side of the foot and step forward. 
palms to shin halfway up. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, sweep the arms up to the side, coming all the way up to standing. And palms to the heart. We're going to keep this moving. Inhale, sweep the arms down and up. Exhale, bend the knees, chair prep, chair pose. Lift on inhale, straighten the legs. Exhale, swan dive, fold forward and down. Halfway up. Exhale, release, set the left foot back. Get light on the fingertips. I'm going to give you a new option this time. Either fingertips on the floor. Some of you may be able to interlace the fingers on the front thigh, but keep the front hip sinking and keep the back leg straight. One more breath. If your hands aren't there already, bring them to the floor. Back foot flat to the floor. Do a quarter turn to your left. Good. Lifting halfway. Turn the toes away from you about 45 degrees. Bend the knees. Palms to heart, lift the chest. Wide legs. One more breath. And then straighten the legs, reach the arms up. Turn the feet parallel, toes pointing forward. Exhale, fold down. Lifting up halfway, do a turn to the right. Right foot pointing toward the front of your mat. And step back to downward facing dog. Plank pose. Exhale to the earth. Cobra lift, inhale. Exhale, release. Curl the toes under, downward facing dog, pushing up and back. All right, your left foot steps forward this time, either from down dog or from hands and knees. Back knee is lifting off the ground to get light on the fingertips. And again, you can keep the fingertips on the ground or you can interlace the fingers on the front thigh and come up. Just keep the hips sinking and keep the back leg straight as much as you can. Good. Now, if your hands aren't there already, bring them down to the ground. Do a quarter turn to your right. Feet flat on the floor. Inhale halfway up. Turn the toes away from you. Bend the knees deeply and then come on up for your squat on this. Stay for about three breaths. Good. Inhale, straighten the legs, reach the arms up. Turn the feet parallel. Exhale, hinge at the hips, fold forward and down. Lifting up halfway, turn your left toes toward the front of your mat. Bring your hands to either side of the foot so that you can step forward. Palms to shins, halfway up here. Inhale. Exhale, release down. Inhale, sweep the arms out to the side, coming all the way up. Exhale, palms to the heart. Again, inhale, sweep the arms down and up. Exhale, bend the knees, chair prep, chair pose. Lift on inhale, fold on exhale. Halfway up. Exhale down, step the right foot back. Keep the knee lifting. And either fingertips on the floor or hands interlaced on the front side. Pick your practice here. One more breath. And with your exhale, hands to the floor. If they're not there already, take the back to flat to the floor. Do a quarter turn to your right. Inhale halfway up. Turn the toes out. Bend the knee. Come on up into your wide leg lunge. Three breaths. Inhale, straighten the legs, reach the arms up, turn the feet parallel, then swan dive fold. Halfway up, turn the left toes toward the front of your mat and step back to downward facing dog. Inhale into plank or knees down, exhale to the earth, hands under the shoulders, cobra lift. Exhale, release, curl the toes under, Downward facing dog. Stay for a breath this time. Good. And when you're ready, the right foot steps between the hands, helping it through. Back knee stays lifting. 
And again, fingertips or hands on the floor or interlacing on the front. Three. If they're not there already, bring the hands back down to the floor. Do a quarter turn to the left, feet down. Lift up halfway, turn the toes away from you. Bending the knees, come on up into the wide leg squat. One more breath here. And inhale, straighten the legs, reach the arms up. Turn the feet parallel, swan dive forward. Good, coming up halfway, turn the right toes toward the front of your mat and step forward again. Palms to shins, lifting halfway up. Exhale, release. Sweep the arms out to the side of the flat back, coming all the way up and palms to the heart. Take an adjusting breath here. We're gonna do one more round, but we'll take a breath. Feel sensation, what's happening in your body, your breath rate, your heart rate. It's kind of hot out today, maybe your sweat rate. Now, some of you already know the last round will feature some holds and some variations. All right. So, when you're ready, from the top of your mat, Inhale, sweep the arms down and up. Exhale, bend the knees, chair prep. Inhale into chair pose, and we'll stay in chair pose here, okay? Interlace your fingers, press your palms away from your head, straighten the arms, and take the pinky edge of the hands back as the hips kick. Are you breathing? <laughs> Please breathe. Two more breaths. And then inhale, straighten the legs, reaching up. Exhale, swan dive, hinge at the hips, fold forward and down. Palms to shins. Exhale, fold. And step your left foot way back. Good, back knee stays lifting. Again, pick your practice here. Hands on the floor, hands interlaced on the front thigh. We'll stay for about five breaths this time, just a little bit longer than the last few rounds. Almost there. If your hands are there already, bring your hands down. Do a quarter turn to the left and fall. Good, bring yourself up halfway. Turn the toes out about 45 degrees. Bend the knees. Bring your palms to your heart. Come on up to the wide leg squat. About five breaths here. So again, just a little bit longer than the holds we had before. Keep the heart lifting as the hips keep sinking. About one more breath. Good, then inhale, straighten the legs, reach the arms up, turn the feet parallel. Now before we fold down, take your hands, interlace them behind your back. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, lift the arms off the back as much as you can. Now soften the knees, and then hinge from the hips, taking the arms overhead off the back as far as you can come. And breathe. Good. Carefully release the hands down to the floor. Lift yourself up halfway. And then turn the right toes toward the front of your mat and step back to downward facing dog. Inhale into plank pose, four knees down, exhale down to the earth. 
in the hips, ground, roll the shoulders back, lift the head, chest, cobra pose. And you guessed it, we're holding, so let's breathe here. One more breath, lift up a little higher. And exhale, releasing down. Good. So when you're ready, curl the toes under, push up to hands and knees, and let's spend three or four breaths in downward facing dog. If you'd rather take those breaths in child's pose, go ahead and sit there. And if you have moved to child's pose, please come back to downward facing dog. And we'll finish off our lunge series. So when you're ready, step the left foot between the hands, helping it through. Back knee stays lifting. And come into your version of this lunge. Either fingertips on the ground or interlace on the thigh. About five breaths. Almost there. One more breath, okay? And then exhale, bring the hands down. If they're not there already, we'll do a quarter turn to the right because we have one more wide leg squat to do. Lifting up halfway, turn the toes out, bend the knees deeply, palms to heart, lifting the chest. Put your mind in your breath. Aware of the inhale, aware of the exhale. And everything that's happening in the body is still happening in the body. But allow there just to be a little bit of space between you and the experience. Almost there. Good. With your inhale, straighten the legs, reach the arms up. Turn the feet parallel, interlace the fingers behind the back once again, squeeze the shoulder blades together, lift the arms off the back. Now soften your knees, bend them slightly, hinge at the hips, fold forward. And breathe. And feel the shoulder blades working toward one another and slipping up toward your neck. Good, carefully release the hands down to the floor. We'll lift up halfway. Left toes point toward the front of your mat and go ahead and step back to downward facing dog, switching up a little bit here. Then inhale, float down onto hands and knees and then release back to child's pose. See to the heels, forehead toward the floor. And just feel sensation as you settle in here. Letting your breath adjust. And again, see if you can just have just a bit of distance between what you're experiencing and the part of you that can witness. There's the one having the experience, and there's the one watching the experience. Just be curious, just watch. Two more breaths here. And 
And with your next inhale, carefully roll yourself up. So we just have a couple more postures to do before we come into our final resting pose. And we'll do them on our backs. So go ahead and come to lie down. Take your time. When you're there, just hug your knees into your chest, just like at the beginning of class. And then with your knees drawn in towards your chest, take your arms out to the side, making a T-shape with your body. If there's furniture near nearby, you can do goalpost arms. Take a deep breath in. With your exhale, allow your knees to fall towards your right armpit. You can relax in there. Feel your left shoulder anchor back behind you. And if it's comfortable on your neck, your chin can turn to the left, away from the knee. As you're resting in the twist, your right hand can rest gently on top of your left thigh or knee, not forcing the twist, but just providing a little bit of connection. And of course, we breathe here. Good. With your next inhale, carefully bring the knees back to center. Take your time as they go to the other side. Knees to the left, chin to the right, right shoulder grounding. And again, if it's comfortable, your chin can turn to the right. And then your left hand can rest gently on top of your right knee or thigh. Breathe. Good. With your inhale, carefully come back to center. Go ahead and hold on to the knees or shins. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, chin to throat, forehead lifts toward the knees. Get a tighter grip on the legs, maybe even reaching across and grabbing your opposite wrist. And then keep that tighter connection. Release the head and shoulders back down. And as you have that nice tight grip on the leg, feel your tailbone attempting to curl down to the floor. But two more breaths. And as you feel complete in this posture, carefully release and extend your legs down to the floor for Shavasana. Final resting posture here. And make any adjustments in your body so that you can be comfortable here or in your space that you can be comfortable here. Allow your toes to fall away from one another, the hips relaxing. Your arms out to the side, palms turning face up, your shoulders relaxing. Just settle in. Relax your forehead. Relax your eyebrows. And clench your eyelids. Space behind your eyes.
Soften any constriction in the nostrils. Unpurse your lips. Soften your jaw. Soften any constriction in your throat. Feel your shoulders and arms heavy against the floor. Your hands on grip. Feel the muscles of your abdomen melt. And a softness comes to the pelvis. All the muscles and organs connected there. The legs are heavy. And the feet ungrip. Relaxing tension where you find it. Consciously resting. Peace. 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 Please begin to take a deeper, fuller breath. making some gentle movements in the hands, the feet, your arms and legs. Remembering that as you bring yourself back that on your own, you can move through these letting go of tension throughout your body anytime you need to rest. Rolling to your right side, Carefully come on up to a seat when you're ready. Bring your palms to your heart and lower the chin. Please honor yourself for the work you've done here tonight, feeling gratitude for all the effort you put forth, because you worked hard tonight. You did. And may all of that effort and this practice continue to serve you. So until we meet again, namaste.